everybody. Welcome to the Delivery Driver Pit Stop. My name is Michael. I am your host. I hope everybody's having a great weekend out there. Uh, go Rams. Uh, today I come to you with a story uh, from CBS News and it's um, kind of surprising, especially nowadays. Uh, it appears that Instacart is paying their drivers or offering their drivers a $25 medical stipend to uh, uh, pay for the COVID-19 vaccination shot. I think that's very, uh, very good of them. I think it's, uh, a, you know, something uh, they should be commended for. However, DoorDash, Grubhub, and many other companies say, go pound sand, we are not paying uh, for you to get your COVID shot. However, uh, DoorDash in their wise uh, ways says, uh, we've been pushing the government to get our delivery drivers, those in the gig economy, uh, get them uh, vaccinated, uh, you know, ahead of everybody else or, you know, uh, priority because of uh, their uh, frontline workers. And indeed they are. But, uh, and I've always thought this, those who want the COVID-19 vaccination that work for delivery uh, uh, companies and people in the restaurant industry, it works to goes. Uh, they are definitely frontline workers. They are doing a service that is, I wouldn't, well, it can be essential with some people. People can't get out of the house that need to order DoorDash or Grubhub or Instacart to in order to, you know, survive. Uh, these drivers, these delivery drivers are indeed frontline workers. They are putting themselves on the front line, uh, you know, extra risk, even though uh, DoorDash and Grubhub and Instacart um, and all of them are reminding you to wear a mask and all that, you know, they're doing their part. However, uh, with DoorDash trying to use the excuse, uh, we've been arguing uh, with the government to, or we've been trying to negotiate with the government to uh, get our get you know get our del delivery drivers to uh, a priority vaccination and, and not allowing them to you know not to giving them a $25 uh, stipend to offset the cost of the COVID vaccine is kind of hypocritical. DoorDash and Grubhub and all these companies, with the exception of Instacart, uh, are you know they they want these delivery drivers to go out and deliver their food, but when uh, uh, rubber hits the road, as they say, uh, they won't stand up and help offset the costs. A lot of these drivers, $25 is a lot of money to a lot of these drivers and a lot of us nowadays, especially with how tough the economy is and how many people are losing jobs. You know, DoorDash and Grubhub should step up and do the right thing. And if someone wants the vaccination shot, they should help offset it or pay for it completely. It's the right thing to do. Again, I give them kudos for trying to uh, get gig workers um, priority because they're frontline workers. Like I said, indeed, they are frontline workers. Uh, kudos to them. I'll give credit where credit's due. But them saying, well, we're not going to pay $25, uh, you know, $25 offset to pay for the vaccination is, again, hypocritical. I got an idea. One of these, these corporate hacks that run these companies in the front office, why don't they take a pay cut like everybody else has been taking uh, a voluntary pay cut and help do you know, donate that to the, uh, uh, like a fund of some kind to help those drivers who want uh, the COVID-19 vaccination that can't afford it, help them get it. Perhaps, you know, you, you do all these, you know, Grubhub and DoorDash do all these things for, you know, homeless uh, people with, uh, you know, delivering food and, you know, these uh, food banks and stuff, which is awesome. I totally agree, and kudos again to the Grubhub and DoorDash. They sh maybe should start another campaign to help uh, make a, don you know, a donation of some type. That way, Grubhub and DoorDash and Instacart, no, not Instacart anymore, uh, Lyft and Amazon Flex and all these companies, they have, you know, help offset the cost of the COVID-19 vaccination because... Those who want it should get it, especially when they're on the front line and they're putting themselves at risk making DoorDash, making Grubhub money. I don't 
there, again, there's no excuse, and it makes it, it rubs me a little bit the wrong way how hypocritical they can be about this subject. Uh, I think that's it. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a great weekend again. Go Rams for a second time. Uh, make sure uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, let's see what side it's probably on. Is it that side today? I don't know. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, that little red button where it says subscribe, and then once you hit subscribe, click the notification bell icon and click all notifications. That way you are notified when I release videos such as this in the future. Um, if you appreciate videos such as this, if you value channels such as mine, please give me one of these. I don't ask for donations of any kind. The only thing I ask for is one of these. That's it. Uh, tell me what you think about this subject. If you think it's because Instacart is doing it, Grubhub and DoorDash and the rest of these companies should step up and do it as well, given the uh, offset for the vaccination cost. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. Sound off. I like comments. The more comments I get, the better it is for the video as well. So thumbs up and comments help promote my channel, which I greatly appreciate since I don't make very much money if at any, which is not why I do this channel, but I digress. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow, follow, I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, the three evils of social media. Uh, that's it. Stay safe. Light is at the end of the tunnel for this pandemic. Social distance, wear a mask, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you, God bless your family, and we will see you next time on the Delivery Driver Pistol. Bye-bye, take care.